Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss the questions of dental materials from NEET MDS 2022. I have already discussed 6 questions in my previous video. Let's now start with the 7th question. During recording an impression it was found that the alginate loaded on tray was partially set before it was inserted into the oral cavity. This could be due to the options are increased water powder ratio, decreased addition of water, mixing in hot water and quick loading of tray. The correct answer of this question is option C, mixing in hot water. When the water powder ratio is increased, the mix becomes more fluid and the reaction is retarded. So the setting time will be delayed. Similarly, a decreased addition of powder to water will also reduce the reaction rate that is the reaction is retarded. When mixing is done in hot water, the setting reaction is accelerated and therefore it may be partially set before it is inserted in oral cavity. Quick loading of tray will also provide us with more working time as we have taken less time to load the tray. So therefore the correct answer is option C. Let's now go to the question number 8. When two monomers are mixed and polymerized, the polymer obtained is defined as. The options are cross polymer, copolymer, homopolymer and plastic polymer. The answer to this question is option B that is copolymer. The homopolymers only have one type of repeating unit that is there is a single type of monomer. While copolymers are the polymers that have two or more types of repeating units. The copolymers are of three types. Random polymers, block polymers and graft or branched polymers. The plastic polymers are those polymers that have moldable property. That is they are moldable polymers. Let's now go to question number 9. What is the function of rosin in zinc oxide eugenol? The options are it imparts color, soothing agent, accelerator and improves flow. The answer to this question is option C that is accelerator. Rosin facilitates the speed of the reaction and it yields a smoother more homogeneous product. So it improves the strength of zinc oxide eugenol and it reduces flow, brittleness and solubility of zinc oxide eugenol. And hence the answer is option C. Let's now go to the question number 10. Activating the surface of the impression by coating with metal during the electrodeposition method is known as. The options are galvanizing, metallizing, activation and deposition. The correct answer here is option B that is metallizing. The first step in electrodeposition method is to treat the surface of the impression material so that it conducts electricity and this process is called metallizing. In metallizing, a thin layer of metal such as silver powder is deposited on the surface of the impression material and hence the impression becomes conductive. Let's now go to question number 11. A crown made from which of the following would be most aesthetic? The options are monolithic zirconia, lithium disilicate, PFM and layered zirconia. The correct answer is option B that is lithium disilicate. The word monolithic in option A implies that the zirconia restoration is made from a single block in a CAD CAM technique. This often has low aesthetics but high strength properties and hence it is used for posterior restorations. A layered zirconia is a zirconia restoration that is layered with a glass or porcelain layer to make it more aesthetic. Still, the zirconia restoration is less aesthetic as compared to lithium disilicate restoration. A high translucency lithium disilicate is most aesthetic followed by conventional lithium disilicate 
then high translucency zirconia and the least aesthetic is conventional zirconia. So the correct answer is option B that is lithium disilicate. Let's now go to the question number 12. Discoloration of cold cure resin is due to the options are leaching out of tertiary amine, oxidation of amine, excess monomer and inadequate polymerization. The correct answer here is option B that is oxidation of amines. The color stability of self cure or cold cure resins is inferior to heat cure resins and this is due to the presence of amines. These amines are susceptible to oxidation which leads to color change of the resin. This oxidation can be minimized by addition of a stabilizing agent. So here the answer is option B that is oxidation of amine. So that's all for now. I shall discuss the remaining questions of DM in my next video. I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to give your feedback. Thank you.